Hey, scouts and scouters. Uh, so today we're gonna go find a geocache uh, pretty close here to Waspi. Uh, and I'm going to talk about a couple things to help you find your own geocache and uh, things to keep in mind when you're out caching. Uh, so first is navigation. You wanna make sure you're able to find your geocache. So what I have today is I have a GPS unit and I got the coordinates off of the geocaching website for the cache I'm trying to find. And I also have a topographic map and a compass and my map has the uh, location of the geocache marked on it. So that way if I can't find it with one method or if the, geo, uh, the GPS unit runs out of batteries or is malfunctioning, uh, I'm still able to find it. And then also before you go out caching, you wanna make sure you're being safe. Um, so today I have a buddy with me. You always wanna make sure you have a buddy with you. Um, and you wanna make sure you're hiking safely. Um, so for the first part of our walk to the cache here, we're gonna be along the road. Uh, so we're gonna make sure that we're walking on the left side of the road into traffic so they can see you and you can see them. Um, and we have a pretty short walk today to get to the cache. It's about a quarter of a mile to get there. Um, so I'm not really bringing too much with me, uh, but if you're out hiking for any, long, any longer period of time, you're gonna wanna make sure you bring ba uh, a backpack with your 10 essentials, uh, but especially a first aid kit, water and extra clothing if you plan on the weather being weird, or even if you don't, because sometimes that's how weather is. Also, you wanna drop a waypoint at where you're starting. Here I'm pretty familiar with the area and I can almost see the cache from my car. Um, so we're just gonna go and then come back. But if you're going into the woods or off a trail, uh, you always wanna want to make sure that you mark where you leave so you can get back home. All right, let's go find the geocache. So when you're using a GPS unit to find a cache, um, generally what it'll show you is your approximate distance. Um, some GPSs are accurate to different levels and it also depends on the satellites above you. Um, but right now I think we're accurate within 20 or 30 feet. Um, and it shows me a distance to go to get to the cache and a general direction. So when you get really close to the geocache, it's more important to uh, pay attention to the direction it's telling you to go rather than the number of uh, like feet or the fraction of a mile that's left to get to it. 230 feet left to go. So, uh, now according to my GPS, we're about 60 feet from the location uh, where I marked the waypoint for the cache. And now is when it's important to really look what you're doing. And it's why I like to bring a notebook or a piece of paper with me so I can mark down any identifying features about what I'm looking for. Uh, so from the post about this cache on the website, I know that it's in an ammo can and it's somewhere in this triangle of woods. Uh, so now we're gonna go see if we can find it. Uh, when you're going off trail like this, it's important that you follow leave no trace and practice what we like to call cash in, trash out. So for leave no trace, one of the big parts is make sure you don't go in a big group if you can. It's important to have a buddy and maybe a couple of friends, but you don't want to leave a significant impact on the area where the cash is. Uh, and also, if you find trash, pick it up and put it in a pocket or a bag. In the kit that we sent to all of you, uh, you have a trash bag, so when you go to put a cash in, you can, leave, you can pick up trash and then leave a trash bag there. Uh, so that other people can practice it as well. All right, now we're going in the woods. So, uh, I was walking around looking for the cache and I see a chain around a tree and a little bit more of a worn patch in the woods. And I would bet that if we went around the tree and looked, we would find the geocache. So, here it is. Um, You'll notice that it was covered, but it wasn't buried. And it's important that if you do decide to set up a geocache of your own, you don't bury it so that it's actually visible and people can find it. And now we're gonna check out what's inside. So inside the geocache, we have a couple cool little trinkets and we also have a logbook. So now I'm gonna sign the logbook with my name the date, and I'll probably write a little message. So I've wrote my, uh, my geocaching handle in the notebook along with the date. So I'm gonna get that put back. And one of the coolest parts about geocaching is finding little trinkets and leaving stuff behind for other people to find. So I brought an OWASPI sticker that I'm gonna leave and hopefully someone finds it and puts it somewhere cool.
So when you're leaving your geocache, you want to make sure you put it back the way you found it. And then when we leave, we're going to make sure we take everything that we brought with us so we don't leave any trash. And we're also going to look for trash on our way out. Thanks for coming geocaching with us. I hope you learned a lot and good luck finding your own cache.